David, welcome to Eastwell Manor, wishing you a wonderful stay and please inform us if there's anything else we can do for you. Look at this, we've got a little chocolate. <laughs> Literally, I'm, we're actually quite tired because we've been doing like so we've been mad life. busy. I seem to have been driving for about four or five four hours five today, hours. so <laughs> we're looking forward to going chilling out and having a having a kip somewhere in the spa room. Look at that. Look at our room as well. Like our room couldn't have been like look, look where the window is. Like literally, and it's the bridal oh suite. It's as the well. bridal suite. sitting in our bridal suite. David has gone, I don't know where, but he just said be ready at 7.30. And I'm just sitting here waiting. <laughs> okay, I do need to get dressed, but I feel like, I didn't think I'd be nervous and like now he's not here and I'm like sitting here like, oh my God, what's he doing? What's he planning? It's happening. This is the last time I'm going to be without a ring. <sighs> For the rest of my life. Oh my god. I feel like I'm gonna cry so much tonight. Fuck. <sighs> it's happening. Oh my god. <laughs> Fuck. Can't wear the makeup. It's weird because like, I've been waiting for this day. Like I think as a kid, like you always dream of that that one, that special one that you meet and fall in love with and get engaged and get married and then it's here at 31. It's happening. <laughs> oh my God. And I just even remember dreaming about this last year. Like, that's, you know, this, the knowing that I was gonna meet someone, that knowing that I was gonna fall in love that knowing I was gonna meet that one I would just wanna spend the rest of my life with. It's what got me through every dark time, every breakup, every failure. It was like one day I'll just have that person that just understands me and gets me and loves me and accepts me. And then I've just met him. I met him a year ago to this month coming. And now we're at this special location. We obviously got the ring together a few weeks ago. And obviously I know it's gonna to happen tonight. <laughs> Cause we leave we leave on the first we yeah, we leave on Thursday. And he's been all off planning things all day, like even last night he was like off and I was like, mm, he's definitely not going to the toilet. And then today he was just like, I'll go back to the room, I just need to um, pick up something from the car. Hmm. Really? And 
yeah, he's just met, he's just met with someone, I, 100%, he's met with this woman, I don't know who she is, um, to help sort of arrange things. Because we were looking in the restaurant last night and I was like, you can't do it here, can you? You can't do it in the normal restaurant. And he's like, definitely not. I was like, ooh, so I'm like, ooh, where is it? I'm, I'm the worst at like, I really want to know everything. But yeah, he's been planning it all and I'm just here waiting. Literally, I've got like 10 minutes. I'm going to put my dress on. I'm not going to put too much makeup on because I know I'm going to cry. And I've got his little gift that I'm going to give to him. I got him a watch. So I'm going to give this to him. I'm going to walk down the stairs. Literally, and I've got like 10 minutes. <sighs> I'm just in this incredible room. In East Wild Manor. Just couldn't be the most perfect trip. And we've been playing backgammon. And I've been beating him every time. He's so fuming. The beautiful fountain, you can hear it outside. I'm just so blessed, so grateful. And I can't believe it's happening. And I just couldn't sit here on my own without doing video. So I just done a video. So I can't have everything set up. Hotel have gone out their way to help arrange a few bits and bobs. So we've got a lovely little surprise for her. So this is where we're going to be dining tonight. And as you can see, they've laid everything, which looks absolutely amazing. Absolutely love it. Absolutely love it. It's mad actually because now that I come back into this room, there's so much symbology that's associated with mine and Lauren's relationship, especially. The obelisk, or obelisk too, but more importantly, which is just like, I've been just like seeing just lions everywhere. I literally, I went to my dad's the other day, she's moved out, and I ended up taking a picture around with two lions on it, so I've just been seeing mad lions everywhere, and then the one above the door. Yeah, do you know what else is in the room as well? Look. Mrs. Cronin to be.
first engagement, official engagement. It's been the most magical night of my life. I've cried ridiculously. Non-stop. <laughs> Non-stop. This one, this one didn't cry that much. Oh, oh, we got the champagne. We got some champagne. I put some shambo in Thank it. Thank you. To make it extra special. This woman has been incredible at the Eastwell Manor. Eastwell like, Manor. Has, I think her name was Ruth. She's she has been, been phenomenal. incredible. Phenomenal. Um, to marriage. To marriage. To our wedding. To each other. Officially engaged. engaged. Oh, I got God. myself. Oh, a fucking such a oh, beautiful a gift. Watch. <laughs> Literally matches. Oh. Like mm. it's golden mm. and platinum, isn't it? It's lovely. And I've got golden platinum in mine. Oh my God. Wait, I can't zoom in. I'm sorry, but can you Abs. just check this ring out for a second? The happiest girl alive. Like, and the setting is just to die for. I was just saying about um, little things like the candles are from um, Beauty and the Beast. Beauty and the Beast. They're these incredible what things. What have you got us now? <laughs> <laughs> what have you got us now? Oh my oh, god! Chocolate. Oh, Chippy, oh, got to be oh, chocolate. Oh my god. Oh my gosh. Oh, thank you very much. <laughs> You're welcome, Oh my god. It's perfect, right? The star. Uh, literally the most incredible night. We literally had the best night. But literally, I don't think I've ever done anything so romantic in my whole life. <laughs> I had to, do you know what, actually, I'm really good at crying. <laughs> I know, I'm but really like, surprised. Yesterday, you like, it literally so felt like it would have completely overwhelmed me. So, like, just even seeing you crying was like, I, I shed a few tears. Just like, just, I don't know, just seeing you like that, just it was so overwhelmingly, like, emotional for me. I feel like I would have just burst. Stop crying. <laughs> Sobbed. <laughs> Sobbed my hoo. <laughs> <laughs> so, I kind of, but we had such a such a good night. The meal was, the food was lovely. Just I don't know, it just it just fell into place so perfectly. The staff were amazing. The service last night was amazing, considering we had our own private room. Just like the perfect. timing and everything. Yeah, like, it was because the first perfect. night we got food so quick, so it was uh, like a thing. What's well? Yeah, we got we got our food so quick, and then. Let's go up this way. And then it was like the evening was really like done quick, wasn't yeah. it? Yeah. So whereas this one, like it was really like longed out, which was yeah, perfect because nice. we got to chat, we got to let our food go down for each course. We ended up having like four courses. And, like even you like going to the toilet, I was like, okay, this is like perfect timing. <laughs> so like, obviously when she come back in the room, like I was kind of like already there and like pre-prepared, although I did chop our heads off in the video, <laughs> which kind of sucks a little bit. It does suck a little bit. Babe, compared to where we're going? I don't know. Right, this is nice. I mean, this is all right.
this is room number two and it's not as nice as room number one but it's still pretty bloody impressive we've got the view next door Absolutely amazing. Dear Laura and David, I hope you have enjoyed your stay with us so far. Have a wonderful night last night at Eastwell Manor. Enjoy the small gift of Vivia Guest Relations Manager. It's so lovely. night out as an engaged couple. <laughs> Newly engaged. Yeah, this is so beautiful. We're literally going to have a little drink. Should we have a drink outside? I think we should, yeah.